Hello once again, everybody, and welcome back to Knox Asian Recipe. Today she's making liang pi, which might be called cold noodle, but she'll show you a different recipe to use it before you cut it into noodles. So the first thing she's going to do then is make a very simple dough, just flour, salt, and water. Then as Nox slowly adds the water, she mixes it together with the flour using chopsticks, which she finds easier to mix it all up well. Then she's going to continue using her hand to sort of knead it together a little bit. And now the dough is ready, so she's just going to cover it up and let it stand for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. And now comes the interesting part, and this is the whole thing about Liang Pi, is that this dough, now she's going to wash it. And what she's doing is separating out the starch and the gluten, right? The water becoming quite cloudy outside is really where all the starch is dissolving. And in the end, she's going to be left with the ball, which is basically the gluten that the wheat flour contains. And of course, in cooking then, these have very different properties, the starch and the gluten. Now, the starchy water, she's going to let it stand. In this case, it's only going to be standing for a couple hours, but it's better if you have time to let it stand for some four or five hours. And while that's happening, then she's going to stretch out the gluten into uh, manageable size balls. And she's added some pepper. She'll add a little bit more salt to this one as well. Okay, so as we said then, these are going to be steamed for about uh, 10 minutes or so. And when she removes them, you've seen that they've, they've toughened up a bit. She can remove them out and cut them into smaller slices. And so this product is going to be flavored. She's got a little water that she's going to start heating up with some garlic in there. The gluten she'll use as well in this uh, recipe on the side. And she's putting some star anise into the water and cinnamon. Uh, she also had put a couple of cloves in there and now she's going to add some dark soy sauce to the mixture. So this mixture just with a little salt and pepper now is ready to receive the pieces of gluten that she's going to serve together with her liang mian. All right. So now she's ready to put in the pieces of gluten, as we said, into all this delicious flavor. This one really gives it a very interesting flavor. And the gluten, when you boil it, has an incredible texture. You'll see some people add a little baking soda to it sometimes, and it actually puffs up like bread. She's been heating this one gently all along, and now she's going to increase the heat and boil this all up together. Once it's been boiling just a couple of minutes, it's ready to go. And she's going to set that aside, and let's get back to the starch water. As you can see, if she would have let it sit more, there would have been probably more water on the top, and she tries to carefully drain out the water and retain the starch. Then she's homogenizing this mixture of starch, and she's greasing a small, probably six inch round little pie tin kind of thing. And then she's going to ladle into this just a little bit. She's only going to cover the bottom of the pan, I don't know, about a millimeter or so, that's all. She's been boiling some water in a pot, and now that she has this one, she's going to carefully take it with her little handle that she has here, and just touch it onto the surface of the boiling water. And you can see the effect is it starts to get hard as it's also becoming evenly distributed. And in the end, I don't know if you saw it, she let a little bit of the hot water come over the edge of the pan. It's on, a little bit of water on top of it now too. And when it starts to puff up just a little bit, then it's ready to go. She takes it out and puts it in a pan of cold water. A little bit of the cold water on top as well. And this one, she'll be able to remove it from the pan because it's cooled down enough and thin enough. So she'll use a chopped stick to kind of run it around the rim and then begin to just pull it out of the pan. And these she'll set aside on a plate. And then she's going to repeat the process again. So she's put a little bit of a dough in another pan, greased pan, and she's hardening it up here. Take a good look and see if you understand what she's doing. She's, once she's got it distributed and a little bit hard, she lets a little bit of the water come over the edge of the pan, hot water. Then it's floating on top of hot water and a little bit of hot water 
on top and she continues to try to make it even out until it then begins to puff up. And she'll let it cook in there and cover it up for a little bit to get it steamed and you can see how it, the dough starts to puff up. That's an indication that it's ready and carefully remove it from the hot water, take it over and then again to the cold water, pry it out of the pan and repeat the process. And then let's do this one one more time because it's a little tricky and you want to see closely how she does it. This noodle is incredible actually. Liang Mian is served in parts of China during the summertime and not only served at room temperature but uh, sometimes refrigerated. I remember the first time Nock ordered this one and didn't really, wasn't prepared for them to come out cool and then after she had the first couple bites she said wow this is great what an interesting way to eat this so you've got to try this at home it's not too difficult you just have to have some of the right uh, tools and techniques and then this one is ready as well And as we mentioned earlier, there are two recipes that you can do with these that she's going to do today. This is actually the skin, the cold skin made from the wheat starch. And it's just ready to wrap veggies in it. So she's got some carrots and cucumber and cabbage. The cucumber is raw. The carrot and the cabbage was pre-cooked slightly. Still then was cooled down and crunchy. And she's just going to make a summer roll. Wrap it up. Any vegetables you want to put in here, some people would put... Uh, shrimp if it's not vegetarian or vegan and uh, mushrooms and go wild with this one so you make your rolls and knock is just going to present it on the plate one of them has been cut in half it's better that way the sauce gets inside and everything like that and she's going to add a little bit of sesame seed and then she's made also a special sauce, a sort of sweet and spicy sauce. And Nock will show you how to make this sauce in a future video. And she'll cover the rolls with this one. And then she'll add a little bit more sesame. And that's ready to go. That's quite a delicious way to eat Liang Pi. Then with the other ones, she rolls them up just for the purpose of cutting them into noodles. And this is where the liang mian comes in, the cold noodle dish actually. So they form sort of like a noodle. And she's going to do this to the remaining ones she has here. And then these wheat noodles go into the plate first and she'll go back and get her gluten uh, pieces, gluten balls, and she'll put some of those on the side with a little bit of the sauce. And now she's going to dress this one also. First she'll add a little bit of dark soy sauce. And then after that she's going to add a little bit of sesame oil. And as this is Knox Asian recipe in Knox Kitchen, of course, there's going to be some spice in here. This is chili oil and probably a little more chili oil. And then probably some dried chili is going to be necessary in here as well. There it comes. There it is, the dried chili. Yeah, some parts of China will eat the spicy, some they won't. And the last step will be to add a little bit of vinegar. She would prefer if she had dark vinegar, but today she's using apple cider vinegar. And now she's going to dress this with some carrot sticks, some of the cucumber sticks that she had before, and a little bit of cabbage. 
This is so nice, so refreshing, so delicious. You won't believe the texture, the combination of the texture once you've separated out the wheat noodles and the gluten. And dig in, this is a perfect meal. Bon appetit. We hope you enjoy the video. So thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy this great food. Bye for now and we'll see you again soon.